Mergers and acquisitions across the government contracting landscape are back on the upswing after a relatively slow year for deals. In an executive spotlight interview with Executive Mosaic, Booz Allen Hamilton Executive Vice President Rob Silverman gave us a glimpse into the company's recent acquisitions and shared insights for M&A moving forward. Partnering to win as one of the U.S. Space Force's three lines of effort, and Lt. Gen. Michael Getline, commander of the Space Systems Command, has spoken extensively about the service branch's collaboration initiatives. Stephanie Pope, executive vice president of Boeing and president and CEO of its global services business, is reportedly ascending to the rank of chief operating officer. Vertex Aerospace has secured a contract worth approximately $300 million to provide logistic support services to the U.S. Air Force's C-12 Huron aircraft fleet. Michael Marzuko, formerly director of pricing at Amex, has been named vice president of finance at the Reston, Virginia-based management and information technology services provider. Intelligent climate and energy solutions provider Carrier Global has entered into a definitive agreement with technology company Honeywell to sell its global access solutions business for $4.95 billion. The U.S. Army awarded a five-year, $136 million follow-on contract to space-based optical systems developer Danbury Mission Technologies for the production and installation of ANVVR-4 laser detecting systems on ground combat vehicles. Boeing will continue supporting the U.S. Special Operations Command's MH-47G Chinook aircraft modernization program, under a $271.2 million delivery order modification. Join Potomac Officers Club's 10th Annual Defense R&D Summit on January 31, 2024. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. The U.S. Space Force has listed potential commercial satellite communications requirements for fiscal year 2024. The General Services Administration has released a second draft request for proposals for the third iteration of the Alliant Government-Wide Acquisition Contract Vehicle covering information technology products and services.